So, just want to welcome you guys to another how-to video from Jaywalker POV. This time for the comments of poor adjustable 49-inch roof rack crossbars for cars with raised side rails without a gap. And guys, for this particular video, we'll be installing them on my 2015 Mini Cooper S model. And well, some of you can find this particular product on Amazon on a website that I'll post in the description below. But for me, I luckily found this baby on a Facebook Marketplace posting. So guys, let's get to it. <laughs> Upon opening up this package, we will find two aluminum crossbars, four of these boots that will attach to the side rails and elevate the crossbars above your roof, this strip of plastic to fill in the gaps on the underside of the roof rack rails, six of these end caps to place at the end of the rails, two for the front, two for the back, and two spares in case you lose the other end caps included. A bag of two pairs of side caps for the boots, one pair with plastic screws, and one pair with metal keyholes to lock in the rails, along with a single Allen key, as well as two metal keys for the locks, and of course, the roof rack crossbar instruction manual which has step-by-step -step instructions on how to put this baby together. So firstly we'll get one of the aluminum crossbars and two of the plastic boots and slide the boot with the open exposed side facing upwards and hook on the outer side of the entry point making sure that the parts line up with each other as well as this little metal tab here too with it being able to slide in just like this then you do the exact same thing on the other side with the other boot making sure that they all line up and it also should slide in easily giving you one boot on each side of the rail. But now that you've got one rail completed, do the exact same steps with your second rail, and then and only then you'll be ready for the next step. Next you'll grab the plastic end caps and arranging them so that they can fit comfortably in the hole at the end of the rail, install them to cover the hole at each end of said rails. And there you have it. You have your rails ready to be installed onto the top of your car. Next, taking one of your aluminum rails, you place it over the top of your car's raised side rails towards the front of the vehicle with the hooks on the boots loosely clinging to the outside groove of the raised rails of the car. And yeah, when I measured the distance between the end of the aluminum rail, including the end cap and the outer edge of the boot, for my Mini Cooper S, it measured just over 7 inches or approximately 18 centimeters on each side. And you can see, I can easily shift the rail to adjust the proper distance. But if not, you can simply take the rail back off the roof, adjust the boots accordingly, and place the aluminum rack back on top of the side rails slash roof. Next, do the same thing, but this time towards the back of the vehicle, adjusting and ensuring that the hooks of the boots fit into the grooves of the aforementioned side rails. I then measured out the distance between the front aluminum and back aluminum rails 
making sure that the distance as seen in the instruction manual is no shorter than 700 millimeters or 70 centimeters or approximately 27.5 inches. Next, utilizing the provided Allen key, you screw in clockwise the hooks to the side rails snugly, doing this to all four boots in order to secure them. And guys, if the distance changes in between the side rails, feel free to alter the positioning of the aluminum rails to make sure that they are even on both sides. Next, taking the boot covers with the metal keyhole locks on them and making sure with the keys provided that the hole is at the unlocked horizontal east-west position, not the locked vertical north-south position. Slide the top of the cover in underneath the aluminum rail. Then push the bottom of the cover to fit into the slot. Making sure it's flush to the boot. Then turn the key to the north-south position to lock the boot cover right in. Next, take the other boot cover with the metal keyhole attached and do the exact same thing. Then once again, locking the cover in place. Next step, we'll take the other covers with the plastic keyhole slash screws and repeat the same process on the other side of the roof racks, sliding them in like so. Then using the blunt end of the key to screw it to the north-south position and in place. But yeah, this is how these babies look on the Mini Cooper S after about 45 minutes of filming this video and installing these rails. And with some experience and if I wasn't filming, I honestly think that these rails could be installed by somebody a little bit novice in their mechanic skills in a time span of about 15 to 20 minutes tops. And after testing out the sunroof and seeing that it could be actively functional and not have the rails interfere with how it opens and closes, I saw that these rails were a good fit for my Mini Cooper S model. But one thing that I noticed though was while driving around the next day at around 50 kilometers per hour or 30 miles per hour, there was a whistling noise that was pretty evident when I was driving around that I could hear even with the sunroof closed. So I decided to pull over and try to use some of these plastic strip gap fillers that came with the package. Measuring out the empty spots along the bottom of the aluminum rails, along both the outer aspect as well as the inner aspect of the rail, then measuring it against the plastic strips, cutting them down to size, then installing the said strips into the gaps along the underside of the aluminum rail. And after driving around post plastic strip install, you could tell that the whistling around the rails had been greatly reduced. With here being a before video, And an after. But to be honest guys, the whistling sound still seems present even while driving. Hearing it mostly when I drive between 50 and 80 kilometers per hour. Or 30 to 45 miles per hour. But just not as prominent as if the plastic strips were not applied. And a review on the highway though. While driving, the whistling noise was barely noticeable. Mm -hmm. 
maybe because of the other surrounding highway speed winds overpowering the whistling. But I probably have to do another review with some cargo or my snowboard slash keys on top of the rails first. In order to provide you guys with a more complete review of this roof rack. But for the most part, these rails seem pretty functional. And I have no further complaints, especially at the price point that they're at. So there you go guys, that's my installation slash review video of this roof rack. For the Calm Support adjustable 49 inch roof rack crossbars. For cars with raised side rails without a gap. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed and learned something from this video, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on another how-to slash review video from Jaywalker POV.